back in my underwater base, I'm Zinder, which I forgot to mention. I put in a little chandelier because I thought it looked dark here, but it still looks dark. I'm not quite sure what to do about that. This ladder was actually here last time. Uh, it was... It wasn't necessarily hidden, I just forgot to mention it entirely, which is kind of bad, I know. Uh, got the extra axe here because I've been really cooking through things, but I have the iron pickaxes because I found something down here. I'd actually found two of them, but I had a small creeper issue and lost one of them, which was very depressing. Not that it mattered, I don't believe they were close enough to each other. Which, uh, one was over... I forget which direction... It was like I know that the one was the other way but we want to go this way oh, okay never mind this is the one that I cleared out it's a zombie spawner which in case you don't know is perfect for experience farms now you're probably wondering why I have glass well I've been down through here for the most part and you know taking out anything I wanted from it and we shouldn't in theory be able to see this I haven't explored up there but uh, guess what we're not going to and you're probably wondering why I'm taking out all these torches and that's because you know normally when people do a mob spawner they light everything up you know they make it really you know, cool, and you know, either they redo the area around it for some specific theme, or they just leave it some gigantic hole in the ground, but it's got like walls and it's a safe place. This is going to necessarily be a safe place, it will be, but uh, I'm going to be replacing the entrances to the place, and it's, I'm going to remove all the lights within the uh, little branches. So, like, back in here. Leave them dark areas. But I'm going to place up glass. Why am I going to do this? Because I want to keep the whole cave feel to this. Uh, I'm probably going to put in, you know, actual path to the spawner. But the surrounding areas, I want them to seem like, you know, proper caves. So I don't want to light them up. Like, obviously, I've been through them and everything, but if I darken them up like this, what'll happen is, oh, uh, I suppose, actually, I guess we can't really block that off. I don't have any materials. Mm, it looks dark enough. But, uh, you know, you'll be able to come through, and you might see a zombie or something just sitting here staring at you. And I personally think that'd be kind of cool. So... I don't... Hopefully there's no sound on the microphone from this episode. Uh, I have my fan running because it's pretty hot. It's uh, 83 and a half degrees. I was trying to hold out on uh, not doing this till I was, like, caught up on the episodes. But I also don't want to keep clearing out the village and getting that prepared for our, our build. So, we are going to do this. I'm recording it right now, which for you is not right now. <laughs> Descriptive, I know. And I obviously do not have anywhere near enough wood for this. Uh, should be able to make ten signs, theoretically. Yeah, there we go. Now that's not gonna get us. Oh, that's not gonna get us high enough to actually kill a zombie. But we gotta get to the point where that's the case, anyhow. Which I suppose we can always make the drop lower because we can always put it in any one of these walls as long as we set it up so it still looks like a normal cave on the other parts. Anything on the inside, as in on this side. You know, hold up to the ladder. I don't care what I do to it, basically. And as you can tell, we are pretty close to the bedrock fog level because that gets pretty dark pretty quickly. But that's enough of that. 
I did bring my buckets of water. You know, I'm going to do something potentially ridiculous. I'm going to number these. So that way I know which sign I'm on and which height they are. Do I necessarily need to do that? No, I could probably keep track pretty easily. But, why try and keep track in my head whenever I can use the signs that I'm placing for the construction to keep track for me? So, that's my plan with that. And as for all that bread, pretty much all of this bread that you see right here came from clearing out the farms at the uh, the, the village. Hmm. First of all, I didn't put a number on that, which doesn't do me any good because I guess I won't be able to see them after a while, but uh, that's not the point. And you're probably wondering, what am I doing now? I don't want to necessarily go right up where the signs are, because I'm going to have to make multiple trips and stuff with the water, and I don't want to be bobbing it out of the water and place things in the wrong spot and this and that. So, this is going to be my solution for the moment. Also, another reason for the numbers is I have a more photographic memory, so what this does for me is I see the number and it makes it easier for me to remember. So, oh. You know, at least I have that escape path should, you know, something ridiculous like lava or something try and pour down on my head. Always got the signs. Whoops, you're supposed to be number five. You are number six. So, I'm sure you've probably seen one of these built before. People build them all the time. I'm doing it because I'm sick of wasting tools, and I just want to make super tools, essentially. So that way I don't have to worry about... I don't know what number I'm on. So now it's number six. Nope, we already have a six. Seven. Eight. Um, obviously I'm not going to go up quite as high as I wanted to. Oh. Oh. There we go. My numpad was turned off and I was trying to push numbers on it. As you can tell, it was not working. And number 10. Oh, I didn't even mark it. What a terrible person. 10. Alright. So that should put us at... I believe we need 23 to kill them. And this should put them at... 20-ish? 20, 21, something like that. I mean, I'm completely fine with using stone swords to actually kill them. But, uh... We won't worry about that at the moment. I've gone through so many diamond shovels clearing out that spot, and I've actually went through my diamond pick, which is one of the big reasons why I want to do this. Which I need to figure out what and how. Yep, what and how. Now, if I'm one... I don't know if the actual direction of the water makes a real difference, because you can always change it any time. I don't think you actually need the water to be flowing. I hope not. Because if you do, that would be the same mistake of why my uh, uh, spider thing didn't work quite as intended, if you know what I mean. I'm going to place this here, because I don't mind if the water comes down... However, I don't want the water to come flowing out through here. Because that would just give me a hard time climbing it. And a hard time climbing it is not what I want. So, hopefully my commentary isn't complete crap. I'm always worried about it. Like, I should just not care and just do things. I'm sure that would probably be more interesting than me constantly worrying about my commentary. Which is why this topic is now deceased. I have killed it. We are never going to speak of it again. So, this is a bit of a boring process. I'm not going to lie. 
but uh, part of the reason why I haven't filled that in is I'd have to take it back out once I'm done putting in the water because I'm gonna need more water and I'm gonna need to dig out this area and I don't know if you can hear that but it's thundering outside probably not the best scenario for me to be recording in but I don't care mostly because I don't care <laughs> that's not a good thing I I mean I don't really have any battery backup or anything which considering I have a server hosted off of my computer at the moment not having a battery backup is probably a really bad idea but signs are against that wall I think I will send the zombies this away Go. So if I send the zombies this way, well, if I send them this way, that torch is not going to work right there. Uh, st stupid lighting glitches. And it also means that this needs to go away. I don't need that step anymore. So we'll send them here. And I'm not going to really know where I'm at unless I count the way down. Oh. I was worried about that. That'll solve that for now. I'll have to worry about those on the way up, obviously, but, uh... One, two... Okay. I'm doing that. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve... 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, and 23. Um, on a side note, in case you care, may or may not, uh, oh, oh no, oh no, oh no, what are you gonna do? Yeah. Sorry, I've been watching Gude, and now that's stuck in my head. So, I said it. Arr! Place one of these here. Place these here. Fill these back up. Now, as it currently stands, this is very dark. But, this is 23 down. So, technically, the zombies should land and die. Well, not die. Our goal is to prevent them from dying. But it's easier to dig too far and fix it than not dig far enough because if you expect it to be so deep and then you have to fix it, which I'd rather be too deep and have to fix it than it to be not deep enough and have to readjust everything. But we're going to go up top. So, I don't know about you, but this seems to climb much faster than that. Could be my imagination. Oh no! I made a serious flaw. Made a serious flaw? Looks like I made more sticks than I should have. I will fix this problem later. For now, I will write it down to get out. If you know what the problem is, then congratulations! you know what the problem is. If you don't know what the problem is, it's that the water can't come down here. The zombies have to make a straight fall. So, what that means is I need to go get some more wood, which I've been using birch wood. I prefer how it looks over the other ones. And overall, birch trees are a lot easier to manage. I was like, what the heck is that? That is part of my chandelier thing. Oh, the cat. I made a change to my texture pack. The black cat in my texture pack now looks like this. I think it looks much better. Uh, I think I need to give him like some kind of an actual mouth texture or something. And the nose wasn't supposed to be black, so I should have, I'll probably have to fix that. 
But the uh, the one that's normally the orange tabby cat, this is here because I had some monster issues. The one that's supposed to be like the orange tabby cat, um, I tried to make it look like a calico. Can't really show you on my let's play without uh, without um, taming more cats. I'm trying to stick just one cat, just one. I'm not too worried about converting all these into planks. I know people are going to be like, Planks? But logs are so much more inventory friendly. Yes, they probably are. However, for one, I'm never going to use them in log format. I'm not a big fan of the, uh, the birch wood. A.K.A. if you watch Goods videos, the zebra wood. Zebra tree. But, uh, I'm not really a big fan of how it looks. So, but I like how the wooden planks that come from it look, which I would probably kill to have, you know, things that, more things that actually match it, like stairs and whatnot. I know slabs are coming. I know that's coming in the uh, upcoming update, um, but stairs would be nice, as well as uh, sandstone stairs. But that's one thing that many people have wanted for a very long time. And as for why I was breaking those, is I can't really afford to lose any of these saplings at the moment. Just because I don't have a whole lot. And I've been staggering them like that until I get enough to start doubling over. This is essentially my uh, tree farm that I have here. And I have to make sure to break these on a regular basis because if I'm going to make an experience farm, I'm going to need a full, uh, full, just full. So, I know that the amount of reeds I need for that is 270. Whoops. Whoops. There we go. 270. Also, with the cats, I tried yellow eyes, but I don't know what it is, but whenever it comes to trying to make, you know, cat eyes in Minecraft or something, for some reason, yellow never turns out quite right. Like, it makes them look demonic or possessed or something, because yellow glows too much, if that makes sense. But, uh, I need one more sign. Oh, going the wrong way. Maybe we're going the right way. No? Yes. What? Where'd you come from? Oh, what is this? What is this? Hey, there's light up there. Is that from Torch or Lava? I originally found this place via my branch mine that I've been getting diamonds from. That's definitely torch light. Not the game. It's the light of torches. But I originally found this place because of my branch mine. Oh, creeper. Oh, I hope I have enough glass to do this. Oh, this is a small spot. Nothing to worry about. There we go. That's properly outfitted. I'm probably going to make that... There's another spot up there I haven't explored. I didn't really explore... Uh, what happened was I heard some zombie noises and I tried tracking them down. And it led me to the first spawner and then I just kind of kept going around trying to figure out where I was and whatnot. And I ended up here at the second spawner. Which, the first one got blown up by a creeper while I was looting a chest. And I was like, no! I needed to make an experience farm. No! And then I found the second zombie spawner and I was like, yay! Could have been skeleton for all I care. The fact of the matter is, I needed a spawner that didn't consist of spiders. Because spiders, especially poison ones, for some reason it seems like a good trap for them is very hard to make. Partly because they seemingly will not go in upward streams, like this one, for example. Oh, don't go down, don't go down, don't go down. That it should practically kill me, which is why I don't want to go down. I'm 
can always use this stream of water to go up, so no big deal there. Now, this should, in theory, work. That goes just over to the stream, like just barely. And then, oh, oh. Now, I know I probably should have the floor one lower, because if it was one lower, what would happen is the, uh, I wouldn't have to worry about zombies somehow getting caught on the spawner, but that's farther than I wish to mess with this thing at the moment. And the number of torches is simply because I had way too many zombies. It, it seemed like they were spawning, regardless of what I did. Okay, I'm gonna lose all these torches, but they're just torches. Coal and water are easy to come by. But we are going to seal this up now. And we're gonna see if zombies end up down there. I guess that would be slightly unnecessary. I wanna make sure they can't spawn outside of this, even though I pretty much made that spawning room bigger than their maximum spawn area. But. I don't... If they sound forward of me, if they sound forward of me, that means they should... Ooh. Ooh. Don't do that. Is that bedrock fog? That's bedrock fog. Now, I should be able to sit down there and still be within range of it. Ooh. Well, that zombie lived. Hmm. Might try a half slab. I only needed one, but he took two punches to kill. Now they shouldn't be able to walk out of that, but just in case, because it's some weird lighting. Well, it's not the greatest of experience farms, and I mean. If I believe I have somewhere in that uh, abandoned mine shaft, there has to be melon seeds. If I didn't collect some already and forget about it, and then you know I can get gold obviously from my mine, so I'll be able to make glistering melons, and then I'll be able to use gunpowder to make splash potions, and I'll be able to just farm zombies. But that's pretty much all that's to it. But, uh, yep. Pretty simple. Hopefully, zombies survive the fall. We're gonna go away from them for now. They should despawn once you get up into our place. But, uh, yeah. Kinda like, I wanna, like, cut this out and show it, uh, you know, it, I changed my original idea. Because I was going down to bedrock, I wanna make, like, a center of the planet kind of, you know, lava domed thing and whatnot, but these whoa, that's dangerous I want to like, glass off all of these tunnels, and then like, kind of make it like a natural tunnel showroom, if that makes sense as you can see, I did it on the path up too, I just kind of glassed off the sides right away okay, Algernon, you having fun there? I hope you're having fun because you're going to keep sitting there for a good while as you can see, I've just kind of been throwing sticks and stuff into wherever. Uh, my armor is getting deteriorated, but I, I really don't care, to be honest. I don't think I have any sand left here. Oh, I've got 31 sand here still. But uh, I haven't done a whole lot here. As you can see, the uh, farm over here has been growing quite well. But let's check and see if I have melon seeds real quick. And then after I do that, I'm going to call this episode good. It doesn't look like I have any melon seeds. guess I didn't find any. I'll have to go back through there. Maybe we can go back through there together because I do know that my spider spawn are still connected to it for the most part. Which, it's incomplete and doesn't quite work right. But, uh... Yep. Me and Algernon are going to call this episode complete. And we will see you guys next time. And I hit the wrong button, because I recently changed the record and stop recording button for my, uh, 
thing. Yeah, so I will see you guys next time. So, what are we doing on?